Welcome to Unfluenced. Jump in my DeLorean. We are going back to the 80s. We're going all the way back to 1981. Destination, United States Senate. The 80s was a weird time. Reagan was president. Fashion choices were awful. Cell phones didn't exist. But the music was fantastic. And almost everyone knew that abortion was killing children. There was even a bill to amend the Constitution so abortion laws could be up to each state. Each state would simply be able to choose if abortion was legal and under what circumstances. It was called SJ Res 110 or Senate Joint Resolution 110. And here is the official summary from Congress.com. The official summary is very short. It says, it grants, there it is, right? There on the bottom, shown here. It says, it grants concurrent power to Congress and the states to restrict and prohibit abortions. It directs that a state law, which is more restrictive than law of Congress shall govern declares that the Constitution does not secure a right to abortion. Does not secure the right to abortion. So basically, Roe v. Wade is gone, and each state can make their own rules. This is fine. Now, unfortunately, this didn't pass, uh, as you probably assumed already. And a small minority of Democrats voted in favor. One of them you may have heard of. His name was Joe Biden. Joe Biden voted to make a constitutional amendment to remove Roe v. Wade and return abortion decisions to the states. There it is. Now you can search for this anywhere and you can pull it up. Uh, he was a senator at the time and he was in Delaware and he voted to make Roe v. Wade go away. Now let's read through this article. It gets a couple of highlights here real quick. Uh, actually, today, or yesterday, depending on when you see this, uh, first week of May 2022, he said in a statement that uh, my administration argued strongly before the court in defense of Roe v. Wade, said that Roe is based on a long line of precedent, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. Now, it is okay to change your mind when presented with new information. That literally is what separates us from animals. Or liberals um, but back in 1981 he stated I'm probably a victim or a product however you want to phrase it of my background he's a Roman Catholic he said at the time the decision he said was the single most difficult vote I've cast as a US senator so the reason why he cast his vote in 1981 because he was a Roman Catholic and according to his religious beliefs or doctrine or morals or ethics or whatever whatever label you want to put on his his decision was that he knew that against his god's wishes abortion should be illegal wrong and he voted to end roe v wade now um, the funny thing is, he did a couple of other things that I don't think most people are talking about. Let me read this article for a little bit. This is that same year, blah, 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 blah. And while Biden became, later became a staunch defender of Roe, in addition to consistently opposing federal funding of abortions, he did vote in 1981 for a failed constitutional amendment allowing states to overturn Roe. At the time, he called it. We already read this already. Now, there's another part of this article that is really interesting. Back in 1981, he was one of only two Democratic senators from the Northeast to vote to end federal funding for abortion for victims of rape and incest. So not only did Joe Biden want to end Roe v. Wade and send the abortion decisions to individual states, <laughs> that year... He voted to end funding for victims of rape and incest. This is your hero. This is the guy you guys want. Okay. So, 
after the constitutional amendment Biden voted for failed to make it to the Senate floor in 1981. Biden voted against it the following year. So he changed his mind within the course of one year. Apparently, he was no longer religious, or he decided that killing babies is okay, or someone put some money in his pocket and he changed his mind. I looked around. I couldn't find any interviews from that time. There wasn't internet as we know it back then, so finding interviews is a little more difficult. But I really tried, and I couldn't find any interviews where he gave a reason why he did a full 180 and at one point decided that killing babies was wrong and we should not fund any abortions, even for rape and incest, and then switched to, okay, Roe v. Wade should stay and abortions for everyone. This is kind of around the time where they started the phrase safe, legal, and rare for abortions. Safe, I totally get that. Legal, okay, well, according to the law of Roe v. Wade and the Supreme Court decision, abortions are legal according to the law and rare. Well, it's my personal opinion that they should be very rare. I don't, I don't think we should need to have a lot of abortions, especially women that have multiple abortions, or they use that as a primary health care choice. But the three of them combined together, safe, legal, and rare, is weird, because if it's safe and legal, why should it be rare? It, it, it doesn't seem to line up. If it's safe and it's legal, then have as many as you want. But they put in their rare because deep down they know that yeah, you probably shouldn't do this. It should be very uncommon. It should be rare. So even in their own description of the methodology for abortion, they, they, should, they admit that it should be infrequent, rare, not common. You can choose any adjective you want. So there's your Biden. There's your Biden. Um, now, because, because he's changed his mind, and you can use the word flip-flopper. I don't think it's applicable here because he didn't really give a reason and he is un, uh, he's been unclear. Did his morals change? Did his principles change? I don't, I don't know how a person can go from one extreme of you should not kill babies according to my lifelong religious beliefs to... Yeah, go ahead. You can kill a few babies. That's fine. It's odd. It lacks principle. It lacks moral character. And people are starting to talk about it. So, that's Joe Biden. I'm not sure why they are so desperately trying to make abortion available so frequently. In some states, they're trying to make abortion legal up to the moment of actual delivery. The history books will not be kind to Joe Biden. His regime is trying to make it possible for millions of children to be killed. Yearly. If he gets his way, who will he be sniffing a few years from now? He clearly hasn't thought this through. Or he doesn't plan on being around in a few years. <laughs>